Good morning, ESM. I'm Elena. And I'm Todd, and well, we don't have an intro, so we're just winging it. But we have our top three celebrities. Elena has three, I have three, and we'll talk to you guys about those after news announcements. Syracuse man Lamar Anderson was stabbed multiple times by a 68 year old man inside a Burger King on Syracuse's north side. Around 8.30 in the morning Friday, Lamar Anderson, 40, entered the Burger King at 623 Butternut Street and started a fight with a 68 year old man. The fight escalated as Anderson began punching the man and then began beating him with his cane. The old man began stabbing Anderson in an attempt to stop the assault. Anderson has been charged with third degree robbery, fourth degree criminal possession of a weapon, second degree harassment, and third degree menacing. A Georgia father was charged with second degree murder and the death of his infant daughter after the baby was left in a hot car while he was being arrested at a police station. Authorities believe the baby, Nova Fran Sweetly Trail, was in the car for hours Tuesday. The girl's grandmother found her in the car and took her to the hospital sometime before 10 p.m. The girl's father, David Wheatley, arrived at the Snellville Police Department around 2 in the afternoon that day to retrieve a firearm that was seized in an unrelated incident. U.S. First Lady Jill Biden met with Ukraine's First Lady Elena Zelenska in an unannounced visit to Western Ukraine Sunday. Biden said that it was important for the visit to occur on Mother's Day as it would show, that the, Ukrainian pe show the Ukrainian people that this war has to stop. Zelensky thanked Biden for the courageous act. They met in a school that is now being used as a transitional housing for Ukrainian migrants. Biden also visited many other sites in western Ukraine, attended a religious service at a border processing facility, and spoke with displaced mothers and children at a Mother's Day event. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So due to time, we can only do our top three. But my third one is Bruno Mars. Um, he's doing really well right now in the music industry uh, with his new album, Silk Sonic. This was his first album since 2016. That's a while. But uh, this album was quote unquote a clean sweep at the Grammys taking home four. But overall, Bruno Mars is amazing and I love his style of music. Bruno's a top one for me up there. I love him. And my third favorite celebrity, iconic queen of hip hop, Mary J. Blige. Not only did she give an amazing performance at the Super Bowl this year, she is a singer, songwriter, rapper, and actress. She's won nine Grammys, four American Music Awards, and 10 Billboard Music Awards. She's also up there on my list, too. All right. Uh, my number two is Scarlett Johansson. Um, I do, I mean, I don't really have to say anymore. Scarlett no. Johansson, come on. Um, she's a well-known actress in the Marvel community. She has over nine appearances in the MCU as Black Widow and just recently got her own movie. Um, she can also sing. She, That's uh, a lot. Yeah, yep. she's, she's been on Broadway multiple times and is married to Colin Jost from SNL. Yep, and we've picked the highest celebrities up there for you guys. Like, these are the best celebrities. <laughs> what we think is the highest celebrities, so. So, yeah, we're going to tell you our top of the top after weather. Today, we can expect a really nice day because first of all, we have completely clear skies, so you don't have to worry about any afternoon showers or anything like that. But now, onto why this week is going to be very good. Monday has a high of 72 and a low of 40, and that is the coldest day this week because, as you can see, it'll ramp up all the way to 82 on Friday and then 84 on Saturday. It's all going to be sunny with a little clouds and no rain. So it's going to be a very good week and very warm, and we're finally getting, getting into that May weather. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. Alright, so going on to my number two favorite celebrity is Beyonce. In my opinion, she is a member of one of the best girl groups out there, Destiny's Child. And as of 2020, Beyonce is the only solo artist besides Mariah Carey to hit number one in four different decades. She also became the first black woman to headline Coachella in 2018. Wow. Crazy. Well, my number one is the legendary Tom Hanks. 
Um, yeah. Tom Hanks gave us legendary childhood movies such as Toy Story and even Polar Express. That's a crazy childhood right there, personally. Um, fun fact about Tom Hanks in uh, Polar Express, he played five roles including the hero boy, the conductor, Santa, the hobo, and even some elves. Overall, Hanks has to be on your top ten, and if he's not, there's a problem. He is a wicked talented actor, mm -hmm. so talented. And for me, many might find this surprising for me, but my number one favorite celebrity is Snoop Dogg. He is obviously the best rapper of all time for multiple reasons. Snoop was a member of a gang, the Rollin' 20 Crips, and now he actively speaks out against gun control. He is rumored, now he is rumored Todd, to have an IQ of 147, which would qualify him as a genius. <laughs> and fun fact, his real name is Kelvin Cardozar Brodus Jr. Wow. Yeah. I, that's crazy. Yep. That's crazy. Well, I mean, if he's not on your top 10 either, there's also another problem. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go on to sports now. The softball team beat Syracuse City 10-5 to improve to a 10-2 record. Morgan Ransom had one run and one RBI while hitting, and seven strikeouts while pitching. Annalie Quantz has scored three runs, Hannah DeGanza scored two runs, and had four stolen bases. Jaylena Sabatino and Miley Comstock both had two RBIs and one run. The girls' blue golf team beat Central Square 193-227. In the NBA, the Dallas Mavericks beat the Phoenix Suns in Game 4, 111-101, to tie the series 2-2. Philadelphia 76ers even up the series at two games apiece after a game four, 116 to 108 win. In upcoming games, the girls golf, girls golf team has a match at Auburn at 3.30, boys and girls track host an invitational at four, the baseball team has a game at JD at five, and the softball team has a game at home against Liverpool at 7.30. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Well, ESM, I hope you enjoy learning about our celebrities. We got a lot of good ones, got a lot of good ones in today's show. Yep. and that. Closing was also winged, so. Yeah, that's Have a great day, yeah. guys. <laughs>